there are three things that Allah gave to the prophets that he is going to give to our Mahdi. Meaning three things that the prophets had gone through that Mahdi is going to go through. And first is the birth of Musa. Second is the disappearance of Isa. And third is the life of Noah. When Musa was born, there was a fear that Fir'aun had for his kingdom and for his throne. The astrologers and the sorcerers had warned Fir'aun that a child that is going to destroy his throne is going to be from the children of Israel. So in order to protect his own self and his throne, Fir'aun ordered that the children who are born and the mothers who have their children who are born, they all are going to be killed. He ordered them slain. It is said that over 20,000 children were slain in order to kill Musa. In order to kill Musa. But it so happened that Musa was not killed. He did survive and Allah made him survive. And he lived. And he went on to live. Such is going to be the birth of our Mahdi. Bani Umayyah and Bani Abbas are going to be afraid of their throne and being protective of their kingdom and throne. They are going to kill everyone who they think is detrimental to their interest and they will see that our Mahdi is detrimental to their interest and hence they will kill all the children of Rasulullah as many as they can and the Shias of Ahlul Bayt as many as they can in order to kill Mahdi and the second thing is the disappearance of Isa. He said that if you look at the disappearance of Isa, the Christians and the Jews, they have their conferring views, conflicting views regarding Isa. They say that he was killed, that he was crucified. And Allah says that he was not crucified, nor was he killed. But it was, it seemed like that to them. And they were fooled by it. So he was not killed. He was raised by God to heaven. Imam Mahdi's disappearance and absence in Ghaybat is going to be the same. So this is the second commonality of the prophets and Imam Mahdi. And then Imam Sadiq goes into the third one, which is the age of Noah, of Hazrat Nuh. Allah is extending the absence of the Imam so that the truth can be clean from impurities and that the faith can be polished of its rust by turning away everyone who is wicked and malicious from amongst the Shias. That if they feel that in the days of the emergence of Imam Mahdi, the believers would sincerely enjoy the dignity and stability of the faith and security at that time, they would be frightened by the hypocrisy that they have. Meaning that amongst these Shias, there are those who are hypocrites and they are working against it. We are going to keep on extending this time until all of them are going to be taken out.